Okay guys, Morsey here again. Uh, another update to the last video I made. Um, I went ahead and made a version that is completely clean on the inside, so now you can't see any of the wiring. Um, it's only two blocks bigger in one direction, so now instead of a 4x6 it's a 6x6, uh, which is still pretty small. And it also still goes up and down, uh, but now we have this uh, nice little room to ride in. So let's uh, let's have a look at it. Um, I'll turn it on, and we'll have a quick go. All right, close that up. So we can walk into here, push the button. Now this time it works fine, um, last time I was glitching a little bit but this time's absolutely fine because uh, I'm riding on top of blocks now rather than on top of the pistons. As you can see there's there was no wiring visible which is cool. Uh, we're at the top here so let's go back in and we'll go back down. No problems at all. Alright, let's say um, I send it up, you can see in here, absolutely no wiring, pretty cool. Okay, so I've just sent it up and I need it back, so I'll hit the call button, and in a couple of seconds it'll come down to meet me. There we go, and I can jump back in, head off again, and no worries. Alright guys, so this is the elevator all stripped back, um, that's the one over there that I was riding in. Uh, this one has no frilly bits, and as you can see, it's pretty compact. Um, again, just a simple repeating pattern. I have used repeaters this time just to reduce the size a bit. I could actually make it without the repeaters but the size would ex expand quite a bit so using the repeaters I think is a bit of a sacrifice for uh, how clean the inside looks which is awesome. Um, this one has, you can see here actually we have floating buttons um, they do that by operating sort of like a bud switch, so when I when I press the button here um, that will normally not do anything, but if, uh, like it just did then, but if this is turned on and there's a redstone signal being updated nearby, when I push the button it uh, does extend that piston and that's how I make the switches reach down so far and also how we can have a too high button stand like that. So as you can see this guy's going up. Um, there is no little room here built onto this one um, and this sort of demonstrates how the room gets moved around. I actually have two sets of pistons, one at the bottom, one at the top and when the pistons run into something that won't move they actually change direction and go backwards so you can see how that one went up, hit the pistons at the top and came back down again. So I was trying to work out before how I was going to make a, a movable room and then I just realized that uh, if I just have a, a room that hits something these pistons would go down, the room would stay up there and if I had more on top then when I want to go down those pistons will push the room down again. So it was actually a pretty simple uh, fix, that was the part I was most worried about but it was a pretty simple fix and um, yeah I'm really happy with the result um, yeah so it's probably even a bit better than the last one I made obviously the last one's a tiny bit smaller but yeah this one looks quite a bit nicer so uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a bit of a tutorial soon and um, I just thought I'd update you on this new design Alright, thanks for watching.